I have watched AEW's women's wrestling long enough to know that some things seem to be falling back into the similar to a similar pattern. Um, so I will hopefully we'll see how it plays out. But sometimes I don't. I sometimes Tony does not help the argument that he doesn't like women's wrestling when he does some of the things that he does. Um, I will not, I don't know him. I can't say whether he does or does not like women's wrestling. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't. Sometimes it seems like he just does it because he has to. And then sometimes he seems to put a lot of effort into it and it seems like it's something that he does like. So it just, but when he does, when he has five minute rampage main events, when he has Britt go out and squash independent talent, on dynamite i need to ask in a you minute about and a half this. you know this that's the problem thing i need to we need to like take a quick side tr- trip okay, on this sure. because this does relate a little bit to the contra what might be considered mm-hmm. controversial comments that dave and brian were i made, haven't heard intentionally so what making. did dave and brian i have not heard no what they but said. i it wasn't even that i'm more okay. i want to know what you thought of, would you have rather they left her off the show entirely or do what they did. That's a hard. Sometimes it feels like, well, what's the point if you're only going to give me a minute match? Like, but on the other hand, I don't want them to use that as an excuse of, oh, we didn't have time. Make time. I don't listen. I enjoy like the MJF Adam Cole dancing stuff was really entertaining to me, but that could have gone towards a women's match. Like that whole, there were so many things that they can cut little things off of and have it go towards a women's match or shorten a men's match. Like it's not going to kill you to shorten certain matches like there were, or, you know, it's not men's and it seems to be the same thing. WWE was doing this and they still do sometimes. If a, if a match is going to get cut, it's almost always the women. Mm-hmm. It's rarely ever men that are getting their time cut. And this has been a problem for decades and it's still an issue. And we should not major television companies should not be doing this in 2023. And there are some cases where there are some weeks where impact has no women's wrestling at all. In those cases, they generally still are doing backstage things that are moving stories forward. I don't necessarily like no women's matches at all but they're at least doing something to move things forward, to make women feel like they're an important part of the show. And so I I think on the one hand, like you make, you make the, regardless, I guess you make the women feel like they're not important. So either you don't, even if, so you're giving them a minute that makes me feel like, Oh God, we have to have a women's match. Let's send Brit out there. Who's available from our, who, who did we have here for ROH tapings? put them on let's put them on tv uh or call up a, who's the best somebody's got a connection in boston who's the best independent woman that you can get on tv to wrestle Britt baker who's like tv ready she's gonna squash you in a minute we'll give you a payday <laughs> like it just if though so these help and then you turn around and you have a five minute match so women got between dynamite and and rampage women got six minutes of tv time that's unacceptable <laughs> that's just it's okay. absurd and so, so i yeah yeah i don't it's really hard because like i i want the women to have representation every week but then on the other hand if you're gonna waste my time and give waste brit's time <laughs> and put her out there for where her entrance takes longer than her match does and like i guess you could go with the argument okay she's a former women's world champion she should be independent talent in no time at all but then on the other hand you're making Brit feel like she's just not good enough to have more than a minute. And she's in on top of that. She's a former champion. You have this big storyline that you've been, it's been dragging on for months. Then it seems to have no type of like there, it doesn't seem to be leading to anything. Right. And so it makes it just, it, they, that he's just, it does not help the argument. It's a token. It's a token woman's minute. Yes. Yeah, it, that's what it it's essentially like. it's it's women's there. Yeah. Hey, here's your token women's moment on the show, and here now. Yeah, and even Brad says, you know, blood and guts didn't need to go 30 minutes after everyone else was in the match. The main event on Collision, while great, didn't need to be 30 minutes long. Right. I think that my feeling this week after watching the, uh, I because I saw it last year, I thought it was a great idea, and I thought it would have been a lot better if they had made it the women's royal, you know. Yeah, that would have been fun. 
I mean, it would have been, been even it wouldn't have been a blood and guts necessarily, although you could have brought in like brought in. You could have <laughs> could have had props and so forth. I mean, sure, there's just any number of things under any number of rings. So, I mean, you could have actually yeah, they could have a little they, like stuff in they there. They could but do. They could do. A I just lot felt more. like there was almost. I felt like they should have given this one to the women this year. Yes, not like this- just because, but actually because it was. It's a good. The setup is really good. It's a fun, yeah. fast-paced sort of uh, style of yeah. match. And it doesn't and it need to be an to, hour. Like, have the women in there. You could, yeah, you don't have to give them an hour-long blood and guts match or Royal Rumble. I mean, a Royal Rampage match or whatever. Like, you don't have to give them that, but give them something. And so then this goes on top of the comments that Tony Khan has made wow. about blood and guts, <laughs> which he made, I guess, at some point this week. Um, I have the quote here because... Uh, my editor wrote an article about it and I was like, oh, I have some things to say about it on Sunday <laughs> because uh-huh. at the time that this comment came out, uh, there was, a. Uh, I got to explain this stuff with Athena and I will explain about all of that, but we'll do this, that next just, because whole, I want whole, that to be separate. <laughs> this whole thing is a mess, but it leads into a whole big thing about how Tony Khan handles women's wrestling. Um, so when this whole thing started with the originals and the outcasts, everybody's assumption was that it was going to lead to a blood and guts, because why wouldn't we assume that when you've got, because we don't, they've never had women's factions before, really. I mean, you have like the vicious vixens and you've had like little things here and there, but you've never had what they were attempting to do. And then, I mean, the outcasts do only have three members, but supposedly, you know, Mercedes was supposed to be, uh, was supposedly supposed to be involved. Uh, that didn't happen. And then you've only really got three core women involved uh, with on the original side, but there's more women on the roster that they could be utilizing, which we've talked about all the time, uh, but they could be doing a lot more with it. And this thing has kind of fallen apart. And then now it seems like there is no real reason for them to even be doing this because from the way Tony talks about it, there never was going to be a blood and guts match for women. Um, and so the quote that I have here that Tony gave was he said it would be an interesting idea. It could have been a could have been a great match. I definitely think Jamie Hader's injury is probably a five on five there, given some of the depth issues, and especially given Willow Nightingale just got back and putting her in that kind of a match after she had major head a, a major head injury in Japan probably wouldn't be very smart. We've had some other major injuries there. And when there was some fan momentum for that idea, I think the Outcast versus Jamie Britt and some others was really running red hot. And Jamie Hayter was part of that. Some of the momentum for that when Jamie, or I'm sorry, I think I <laughs> read, read, read the wrong sentence. Uh, but, uh, so he said, I'm not sure at this moment, given some of the inter- in injuries that we've had uh that that was feasible Khan said also with so many of the women competing this week in the owen hart cup tournament it's a very hard hitting match and there is a lot of attention for it santana still hasn't been back from last year the women's division is pretty beat up they've been beating the hell out of each other probably was not a feasible idea for this year the men bleed every lot- week yeah, so there's a lot. And they did the Owen tournament too. That's a bullshit argument, right? I call bullshit on the Owen yeah, tournament I do too. Thing right and now because the men did the Owen tournament at the same time as yes. and they were doing the Eliminator tournament on top of doing the Owen. Right. And I apologize. I apologize for the storming in the background. If, uh, it's coming through. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully, yeah, we, we won't have any have like to do, crazy so. tornadoes or whatever <laughs> we've been having all these weeks. So. So. And, and then his argument about Jamie being injured is also bullshit because Brian Danielson was injured and Brian Danielson's injured the right now. Stop laughing. They, they brought in, they had Takesha and they put it, they replaced him with Pac. There are he busted women his on- arm doing a shot, uh, doing a spot outside at Forbidden Door with Okada right. by the announcer table on the freaking floor. Like, right. So don't tell that's me the a, men, like the women. So oh, I'm sorry. The, the, the we gotta we gotta protect our poor women's division. Yeah, because they're beating the hell out of each other. And then he sits there and he oh, says, gosh, "Well, yeah. we have to be careful with Willow's head injury." Yet Willow just had a 20 minute main event on Friday night. So you must not have been too worried about her head, <laughs> or it must not have been as severe as you're letting us believe. Yeah, so, okay. And then meanwhile, we're having like a whole debate about Kenny Omega being dropped on his head at a at Forbidden yeah. Door. So I mean, so it's oh. It can't be 
you can't use that argument and when you're doing the exact same thing with the men like we can well poke, he's just essentially telling you that he doesn't care about women's wrestling by right. saying a bunch so of then, stuff that i can call bullshit on immediately right so then, <laughs> i mean so i hate to be like that about it well but, but then so you look at this whole picture you have the comments about the blood and the women's blood and guts then you have the one minute match with Brit, and then you have the five minute main event on Rampage. When you look at that whole picture, what that it's hard to beat the charges of you hate women's wrestling when you're doing things like that. And when you're making these type of excuses, you've got women. There's other women. There's Diamante, there's Kira Hogan, there's Nyla, there's, you know, there's uh, Penelope Ford. There's you know, they there's Whatever, Scott. just make Rampage. How about this? Everybody's bitching about Rampage and they're like, they don't know what to do with Rampage. And nobody's watching Rampage. And we should put Rampage at the end of Dynamite. And maybe we should put it at the end of Collision. But no, but three right. hours is long. And da, da, da. so give Rampage to the women then. That was my argument with Collision before we knew what Collision was. I was like, why are now, we not like, giving it? Okay, so Collision and Dynamite are going to be like the A and B show and it'll go back and forth because right. it's just going to depend on who's hotter on any given week. So give Rampage to the women and let them have a show. Yes. Then they can build. Then you can you Let can them build, define themselves. Let them can be. Build, you can build characters. You can build storylines. Because it seems like now, like, because um, Taya and Sky Blue had a really. Keep them. Yeah, Taya and Sky Blue had a really great match on collision last night and i think they got um, they got nearly nine minutes which you can't book great. an hour of women's wrestling on a friday night <laughs> yeah and with your with sky blue jade uh statlander brit uh ruby who not, they're doing nothing really? with sakura uh, on tv you idiot emmy sakura uh just in the back emmy sakura is probably the best woman they've one of the best women they've got on that roster and they <laughs> barely use her Give me a list of the women on the roster right now. I could book an hour show and I know dick about it. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. Like, yeah, I'm actually like convincing myself that Rampage should be. I've had them. It was. I a, would prefer the person prefer who to suggested to me. Women show. What was the that? person who suggested to me that the women get what they thought was collision at the time, like you were talking about. But the person who suggested that was a man. Because he said that it would give the women a chance to define themselves instead of trying to fight with for time instead with John Moxley. Well, and, and they also focus on the same women over and over, which was the problem in WWE. But they keep they signing could not them. Build, they couldn't build a div women's division around because it was always the four horse women. And but they, they just were fight, but they just but they just signed Billy Starks too. So it's yeah. they just. Stop. Do you Just think Mercedes Monet women, is gonna... that you're not using the women except for the other think... three? Yeah. Do you think Mercedes Monet wants to come to a company where they this is how they treat their women? This is how they book them? <laughs> Why would Mercedes sign to that? Why would she sign a contract to do that when she she can go to Japan and she can be heavily featured? Do whatever she, she can. Wants. Other women are heavily featured. She was on strong like. It is sad when New Japan Strong has booked women the way that they have. They're a new company. They're brand women, new at it. And they are doing a better job. Like, they are doing a better job of the way they present the women than AEW has been doing. And that's okay. a problem. Okay. So and what's also a huge... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, what also... So now... <laughs> so now that the women have main evented on, on ROH pay-per-view, AEW is the only promotion that has not had women main event ever on a pay-per-view. WWE has done it multiple times. Impact has done it multiple times. ROH has done it. Of course, it's just the one time, but they finally did it. New Japan Strong. Yeah, they weren't going to do it. New they? Japan Strong has had. No, they were not going to do it. <laughs> we'll get on that in a second. Yes, but New, New Japan Strong has had women main event. AEW has not. That is a huge glaring problem that has got to be fixed. And no, you can't just do a match for the sake of doing a main event. Like, I get it. But then you build your women to give them a reason to main event. Because you're not doing that. You're not giving them a reason to main event when you could. And now that we're not getting a blood and guts match at all. Like you, then what is the point of this?